Good evening, gentlemen. I am Enoch Powell. And I am Hamlet. Enoch and I are together in law, although due to his behavior, we're currently undergoing a process of mutual legal emancipation. Despite this deterioration, we remain professionally as one, as we are also the home office in the flesh. We are the home office, das Innenministerium. The home office means business. Ethical, ethical business. Fear nothing, voters. Be glad I'm Enoch Powell, and to a lesser extent that this is my soon-to-be ex-Hamlet, and together we constitute the home office. Two men, two ethical reps, making decisions, that's us. Putting our personal problems aside like professionals. Now, you will all be physically aware that an applicant sits among you not working. Right <laughs> there. <laughs> We all suffer the fact that he nevertheless wants leave to stay <coughs> among us. And the point of tonight, gentlemen, the point of the night is so simple-minded as to be an automatic victory for my people if I don't say so. The point of tonight is just to deliver our decision for him. That's it. Will we or will we not allow him? The point is, the protection of the public is paramount. Precisely. The protection yes. of the public yes. is paramount! Quite. It overrides all other concerns of the body, like food, a.k.a. freedom. But, <laughs> before we get into the meat of today's work job, I must lay myself on the table. <laughs> Although she is a foul and fishy tolerator of other men and I hate her for it, Hamlet and I have history, long suffraging history. <laughs> and it is in the interest of the continuation of this well-written history that I must tell the room that we have daughters, and it is in the light of this strong fact that today's decision shall take place. With great daughters comes Great Britain. And so, we, <laughs> and so we pray for our daughters that today's decision shall be great for them, the daughters, for their future's wealth and other benefits depends on that decision. For the daughters are the future and the future is the daughters. So thank the God we have daughters for fighting you. Strong daughters for Britain. Firstly, protect, protect, protect. We are a passionate man, so... <laughs> I might be Enoch Powell, but I'm only in it for the education of women, right? <laughs> yeah! All according to protocol. Go, Enoch! Though you can be cruel behind the scenes, on the public, you are impressive. <laughs> Thank you, Hamlet. I'm glad you can be civilized, despite the emancipation. Now, as the applicant wants leave to stay among us, let us begin by asking why not. <laughs> applicant, your history shows us that you have history. <laughs> that is criminal. There are many crimes. I will state them to show mine work. Crime one. You came here. Great history men describe you as one of a deluge of barbarians, endless columns of barbarians that press on the empire like it's ending. When the front line is destroyed, the vacant space is instantly replenished with new assailants, more and more fat, accumulating barbarians, big girls, huge girls, happy, flappy, rude girls, how shall we survive under you? Unquote. My wealth of experience in people flows has shown me that there are daughters and then there are girls. You are girls. I'll agree with that. <coughs> Crime two. 
You have accepted rental obligations which you have not met. I, Enoch Powell, private landlord, <laughs> offered you a seriously good deal despite your lack of status. I risked a lot to keep you here as technically woman you are not allowed to inhabit. And yes, it was expensive. And yes, there was just one room made of multiple lung diseases and black mould, but that is the price, child. That is the price you pay. Crime three. I have given you everything I have, and yet still you love it here. What are you smiling about? What's funny? 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 Why giggle? You don't suffer enough to excuse your land grab. Land grabbing is not funny, applicant. It's not funny at all. Crime four. You have applied before. Out of young love, I gave you everything you wanted and even wrapped it in sweet conditions, like you must live in Inverness and report hourly to Croydon where I live. <laughs> <laughs> it was going to be so good to hang out, get in sync and feel togetherness. But no, you ruinous pain. You missed one date and startled, you disappeared for 70 years. Oh, the pain I felt. I wrote this poem to express my suffering. Oh, little lover, what startled you? What did you think I was going to do? I was never going to do anything bad. Just hold you close so I won't be sad. Oh, you cruel fiend, you'll never get but a chopped off lover I can't forget. And you might think I wait for you, but it's you who wait, and it's I who do. But then suddenly, out of nothing, you text appealingly. No love for 70 years, and then you crawl back and ask for me again, for us to spend on you, to clean you up, transform your rank. No, it is too much. You go back, not me, I almost think. So therefore, crime. You have had no visa. With this crime, I may have had some sympathy, like if India or wherever else required visas of us back when, a lot of very good work would not have gotten done. <laughs> but I consider the likelihood low of you bringing with you a vastly improved system of governance and morals, so my sympathy perished before it began. Crime. We have found your papers. They greatly assisted the case against you. Many, 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 many thanks. Hamlet. Get them out. <laughs> you would not have read your papers had they not been hidden. But shifty data points to an England hater. So call me a patriot. I had to breach your Article 8. Whatever <laughs> democracy. It took me many devotional man hours to decipher them, as you are not usually literate. I'll remember you owe me. But for now, let us look at the detail of some of your further crimes. Crime! You admit in writing that you rolled on from your own mum. Quote, he's flattened now, so no one's left. No matter, we'll roll on. This is a heinous one, because I would never abandon England, no matter how flat. But you, you have just enlarged. Your papers show you were born a pretty little Danish three-year-old like mine, but the child self twisted and then, and then reported again, devote, 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 and never a reverse, and soon you were a 16-stone Serbian mechanic called Boateng. We would have understood reverse with our own whole heart. I will always violently support you going back to where you never should have left. But you won't go. The Danes and I do not recognize you. Although we are not in any way touched by your growth, that is not material and I must nonetheless protect Denmark and my English daughters. It is a crime. Crime! I was mauled at my workplace today and it was necessary to amputate. I did not give permission to work. Were you must have 70 years? That's a big crime sucking up the trickle. Yet the papers show no shame. Just the wild rage of the employed. That's not for you. Yet, quote, <laughs> diary, my boss said, Late again, paperless scum, you'd be dead if only there were a negative word for kill.
<laughs> then, after hours in conference with finance and my landlord asking, what's a negative word for kill? What's a negative word for kill? They all chose burn. I strapped my land to my back and ran. Later I heard they had suffered at the sight of me with land and the heart damage was extensive. They didn't die though. I don't know if I will survive them, but I know in my guts they can't survive me. After this incident, something turned and you grew ever more outrageous. Like you, who self state as one of the legions of hostile, revolting historians, a criminal category all of its own. Quotes, dead people everywhere I raised from their ashes in an act of revenge. Onwards, unconceal your names and wield them round and round and forward now. The dignity of my home is on the stake. You have no nostalgia. You do not represent me and that's criminal. I do not accept your history, girl, so you'd better stop writing it right now. Yet, quote, I have taken bread and housing and also occasionally ornament. I like these things, so I think it's fine. Also, I sometimes punch an Englishman for balance. I don't think he minds, <laughs> because our grandmas were friends in the war. Crime! <laughs> you right! I often think about killing a caseworker in mercy. We'll see. For now I don't know if I can find the compassion. A person can give too much and start resenting it. Anyway, Croydon, like Algiers, is far. There is enough bus money in my world, so that one's on the back burner. Crime! You write persistently inscrutable statements. You are all example, but I will select a few. The law sits down for a free slice of pie. Ha 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 ha! What does that mean? It's a foreign <laughs> sentence. There's fortune in newlyweds crossing the border. Most of them would take the minerals to their stomachs for half of what was offered. Ha ha ha! on it, you bastard. I am confused also. And yet, it gets worse. You sight caged infants and victims of my embellished history. They don't fit together and I'm worried my daughters will fall through the gaps. So no, I won't accept it. It counts as crime. I will never be separated from my lovely daughters. Daughters, 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 daughters. And finally, the greatest these inscrutable crimes is now a Europe-wide hit. I shall quote it in full. Nineteen hundred sixty-eight is over. It's over. Nineteen hundred ninety-seven is over. Future is now. It's really going to be a better world. So many people try again and again and again to change. Lieber Gott, nach wie vor, dass ich in den Himmel komme. Eins, zwei, drei, vier, fünf, sechs, sieben. Laben, leiben, treiben, fliehen. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Laben, leiben, treiben, hell. Four in bed, four in bed. Housing, house, 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 house. Nineteen hundred sixty-eight is over. It's over. Nineteen hundred ninety-seven is over. Future is now. My love for you, Sherry, is bigger than my love for me. You see, it's free. The key is love. Can't get enough, my love. I fight, I love from sexy, but love and life and drive and freedom. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Love and life and drive in heaven. Four and bread. Four and bread. Housing house, 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 house. Nineteen hundred sixty-eight is over. It's over. Nineteen hundred ninety-seven is over. Future is now, and yet come the Strophe from Brecht. Sklave werden dick befreien, Sklave werden dick befreien. Es vergiss nicht, kommt das Fressen, Sweet. Zweitens kommt der Lieber, sagt den Konsum hat nicht vergessen. Viertens saufen, bis es knackt. Eins, zwei, drei, vier, fünf, sechs, sieben. Wo ist noch mein Herz geblieben? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I was born on nine eleven. Four and five, four and five. Housing house, 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 house. Jetzt ist Wahnsinn. Future is mine, 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 and die, 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 and die. Enoch, you relic. You go too far into minstrelsy, and what if you don't come back? I'm always so frightened you won't come back. Shut up now. While I try to turn this reasoning acceptable. It's all up to me, as always. <laughs>
Hello, <laughs> young applicant. You look nice. I can feel you're displeased with both of us, even though I actually hardly said anything yet. <laughs> and I don't know why you're annoyed with me when I'm a nice guy built with charity in my bones. But it's okay, I forgive you, because that's me, for you. Also, you should be nice to those who love you, like me, because trust me, child, I'm one of the good ones. What you should know about me is simple. I am a very understanding person due to my extensive education. <laughs> When I look back on my life as Hamlet, I recall I learned a great deal at social landlord school. For example, <laughs> English. It made me who I am as I, Hamlet, guide you, you, through trying slits of time, including evictions, with leadership, compassion, and empathy. And so, say what you want about me, I never judge, aside from when I judge, and even then, I will always make sure that you feel like we've heard you when we employ English policy against you, which is the key to English democracy. So, my friend, please listen in English when I say, I have heard you. I know exactly what you mean. <laughs> you can relax in my English hands. For example, I understand that the day the decision is made can be overwhelming. Enoch looks like a big man with command of the language and quite a bit of land beneath him. I'm sure you feel sad and unmanned. I hear you, love, as for example, I also sometimes feel sad. Like when pets, or even some people, die from unavoidable reasons. That's just pure, unpolluted sadness to me. It's so sad. Oh, 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 it's so sad. It's so sad when it's not my fault. So I'm with you, lady. I'm with you totally. As your judge, decision maker, your social landlord. Your home is my castle. Every social landlord is a prince of Denmark! Now, what a relief to have made clear I am a good man. Thank goodness for that. I always feel so much better when everyone knows I am a good, charitable man. Oh, the relief. Oh, the sweet relief. It's a happy moment for me. I am the best of men. I am Hamlet. But enough about me. <laughs> Let's talk about Enoch. I feel that you've gotten off wrong, young lady, but don't worry yet as I am Hamlet and I forgive you for your ignorance. The significance of the historical husband force I have beside me was likely lost on you because we no longer tend to mention him to foreigners. But looking at you, you and your face, I think you can take it now. Enoch Powell, this man, Enoch Powell is a man. As a boy, he was the heir to India, and we all thought he'd have his ready-made public just waiting for him to use, but due to fringe efforts, the empire became a bit elderly as a method of progress, and I was too embarrassed to openly support white rule. Nevertheless, I do depend on him financially and also for ideas. <laughs> In short, while he sometimes comes across as an overzealot, Enoch is essentially right in thinking that not every single girl on this globe could find space on England, physically speaking. <laughs> Just imagine all global cunts together bleeding into our English waterways. <laughs> Who would not think that's impossible? Right? 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 It's not about hate. It's about the physical impossibility of your end point. So, so Enoch is insufferable in many ways, but I will always have to accept the sustained genocidal urgency of now. <laughs> <laughs> 
my life and daughters depend. So that's Enoch. I hope you will feel able to respect the man, the ideas, the hammer hands, the popular <laughs> appeal, even if his style is enough to inspire emaciation, <laughs> emancipation. <laughs> Oh, I'm so glad. Another good job done. Enoch is salvaged. Right. Let's get moving on through the workload, for I am a good introverted man disinclined to stress the sound of my own voice. You may wonder what strange world could bring you here to be partway lynched by two ladies. How surprising for you. I bet you expected a parade for all your man hours. Let me explain why not. <laughs> Everything that happens here is in accordance with the Constitution. In fact, I love the Constitution as if it were my own. I love it. Yes, 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 oh, yes, I love it. Oh, the German Constitution. I love the German Constitution for it is my excuse. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you, Germans. In particular, I have a special soft spot for the first sentence of the West German Constitution. I translate. The dignity of the landlord you cannot touch. That's its beginning and its end. The dignity of the landlord you cannot touch. Extraordinary, no? Now everybody knows that according to this law that we violently love and respect, every person has the right to one incriminating novella that no one will read. <laughs> that is the practical effect of the German constitution. We all have our novella hidden at the family home detailing the purges. But young man, like any right, the right to a novella is conditional on Enoch and I feeling quite sure there's no threat emanating from the author tenant, for example, to our daughters. <laughs> so, applicant, it gives me very little pleasure to confirm that by virtue of renting, you threaten. But you know, sir, I do not wish to cause further upset. It was possible your punishment would stop there before it started, presuming the book showed you to be no worse than a learned button, for that is the threshold, the bottom line. But we read the book to find out whether we needed to read it. How else would we know? And whoa, as my estranged partner has shown, you were naturally worse than the comparator. In fact, Far worse, you crossed the line with such excess that you began a new life on the other side of that line with a small business fixing other people's houses, a wife, children, grandchildren, and multiple pets. So, reading your diary proved that we needed to read your diary. Like I said at the beginning, I hear you, but what I've heard I do not like. You have to accept that and love me regardless because I am a good person and you've invaded and touched so many of our people with your songs that I am unable in good conscience to help. Your novella condemned you. What do you want me to do? And Enoch made his disapproval of touching a cornerstone of his public persona. What could you possibly want us to do? The public is a witness. The grope was vindicated. Well, sir, I hope these explications have been helpful to you. <laughs> And I trust you will remember me as a good person committed to ensuring that those whose necks we may snap know why. My favorite actor is Matt Damon. I like his <laughs> gentle touch and reasonable opinions. <laughs> <laughs> yes, 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 yes. What a relief for me. It's great to think about what a good and charitable person I am. So devoted, I really have justified his experience adequately. Yes, well done, Hamlet. Yes, 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 yes. Good job, Hamlet, bringing home the bacon. Yes, 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 helping people like a prince. My God, woman, are you running for office? I won't be a royal wife. Enoch, we agreed to remain professional and also palatable. And I don't need a royal wife. I am a strong, independent woman and I can rule the world if I want to, all by myself, with minimal ideological input from outside sources. You can't hold me back, old man. Yeah? 
Yes. Okay. Problem. <laughs> no, baby, no problem. <laughs> <laughs> I still want to emancipate. Me too. Good. Yes. Hamlet, despite this emancipation, I still have a financial interest in you and your assets. <laughs> so I'm going to give you some tax advice by Enoch Powell. <laughs> no, Enoch, we have work to do. He's waiting. He's waiting to see if he can stay here in England where he currently is. Such is the nothingness of the detainee's complaint, whining about waiting for what he currently has. Nothing's forever, boy. Ye not be palatable. Hamlet, tell me, why would a man pay tax? Tax is charity. <laughs> <laughs> Are you sure? <laughs> <laughs> tax is charity. Charity is tax, and I do lots of both. <laughs> when you do charity, what is your aim? Love. <laughs> <laughs> Who is love? I love. For example, for him. And in return? Nothing. I am happy with nothing. <laughs> Hamlet, you are a motivational liar. Tax is charity! Charity is the ideological nemesis of tax, and the only man it loves is me, a charitable man. No! Let me ornamentalize Hamlet. <laughs> I have a business importing small, useful hands. <laughs> they can get into places English women can't slash won't entertain, and I have found demand stealthy, but a force. People love those little hands, Hamlet. They're nigh on heroin. In fact, they love so intensively that without them, there is nothing but humanitarian crises across the land, a break in supply, and they all would die. Good for me, Enoch Powell. But shit, Hamlet. As soon as I turn to excess, which is my soul burning itch, chunks disappear into group funk idiocies like the bare minimum and also tax. I would die to prevent this perversion. Die! Oh, they're trying to ruin me. Oh, Hamlet, I hate them so. Oh, Hamlet, I hate them so when they insist on payment. And oh, Hamlet, I hate them so when they insist on lust-making government programs. These ideas are murderous, Hamlet. Murderous to me. So, hear me when I say I suffered. I fell down low. I did not know if my business importing small useful hands could survive them, and what is a man if not his business importing small useful hands, and more specifically its profits? If I was not the ideological superior to my creditors, I would surely have declined into rampage. Truly, Hamlet, I rightly might have rampaged. Hammers flying, bang, 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 bang. And then where would your humanity be? But no, Hamlet, no, I did not. And why not, you ask? No, I never asked a thing. I don't want to hear. I'm telling you anyway, Hamlet. I didn't need to rampage because one, I found a tax structuring technique that means if you no, no need to pay people, if you frame it right, they'll volunteer. And two, none of this hideous, degrading, disincentivizing, anti-evolutionary, Enoch-hating tax. Please don't say it. Hamlet, you are an idiot and a waste. I'm talking of charity. Charity, charity, charity. It is the money structure from whence I suckle. Enoch, 
Can you not hear the chorus of execration? How dare you say such a horrible thing? How dare you stir up trouble and inflame feelings with your tax advice? I'm frightened <laughs> by you. I do not have the right not to give this tax advice. I am a decent, ordinary Englishman, and in broad daylight in my own courtroom, I say that this country will not be worth living in for my daughters. What state is this? Your business cannot survive this talk. Our debt already accumulates daily. Customers don't want to feel like cruel old men when they buy your hands. The supreme <laughs> function of statesmanship is to provide against preventable evils. Taxation is just such an evil, and him, him over there, he's another one. When I look ahead, I am filled with foreboding, and so are you. But charity, charity is the avoidance of the rich man's death. It makes me big, it makes me strong, and it has absolutely nothing to do with loving people who require small, useful hands on humanitarian grounds. I love charity because I love me, Hamlet. Charity is by me, for me. Me, 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 me. But you already knew that, didn't you, Hamlet? That's why you do charity too, isn't it? Yes, Hamlet. No. Yes. No. Yes. No. Yes. No. Yes, no. Hamlet. That's no. why. Yes. I'm a good man. Yes. I'm a good girl. You sanctimonious liar. <laughs> you stand there, ankle deep in the blood of the applicant, and preach your goodness, <laughs> your love for the wretched, your concern for this man whose every minute, every moment in England gives me worry for the cultural dignity of my colorblind daughters, and all the while you utilize the single greatest tax avoidance technique on earth, extracting every penny you can from those handless foreign subjects. Poor wretches indeed, not that you care. No, Hamlet, no. I know you better than you think. You are Mrs. Enoch Powell, and we, we are just two Enochs looking to live well and reproduce cleanly without concern for the rank infected public. We are natural, we are right, and we are England. Accept it or die lying. Ah! Quick! I'm having an identitarian crisis. <laughs> oh, 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 good person, good person. Me or not? No? What to think? Oh, oh, oh. I've only ever wanted to help others. For example, I went to Kosovo once to do good, but the children didn't need me. Although the debt is not counted. Oh, oh, oh. And then I became an English decision maker to help even more. Help! 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 Oh, oh, oh. I'm a good person. 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 Oh, oh, oh. But I know I once killed a pole in a blanket, but by accident thinking he was a rat. So that doesn't make me a racialist. And anyway, I did therapy for that and forgave myself, so it's fine. Oh, 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 right? Oh, 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 I'm having an identitarian crisis. Oh, 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 I'm your social landlord. It's Hamlet, me, remember? Social! Oh, 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 but oh, 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 the public, oh, your shaming gaze, it drives me crazy. Enoch, I'm so upset. Oh, 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 see these judges' tears that pale all others, even yours. Oh, but it's true, it's all true, I did charity for me, oh, 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 I am a liar, no, I am worse. I am the greatest liar of a generation. History <laughs> will recall my awesome misrepresentations. Oh, 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 I'm a hypocrite. Oh, 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 but it's too much to know, to think, to be good and bad, the best, the worst. How can a quotidian Matt Damon off the street like me manage? Oh, 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 oh,
am a hypocrite, oh, but a suffering one, oh, you saw these judges' tears that paled all others. That has to count for something, right? Oh, 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 I'm a good person, good person, me, or not, no, what to think, oh, 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 but a liar. multi-tool. <laughs> I grew my own with the biology force my line are famed for, painted them red and kept them disciplined. I loved them. They were exactly my kind of woman. But god damn it, they all went limp. They were no tall at all for a man like me. Oh, the humiliation. And what caused this degeneration? It was deficiencies. Deficiencies begotten by my pirate ancestors who interbred with the outside. That's it. <laughs> I'm sure of it. It's the only option. The significance and consequences of an alien element introduced into a country or population were found on the details of me, Enoch Powell. Oh, the devil was in me. No man should be forced to open carry those symbols of his own biological decline, and I cannot endure it. It was me, or it was the nails. The nails! Purge the nails! All ten of them! Within minutes I was in Vietnam getting fakes. I don't care if you think I'm fake. Fake things still exist, and so are real, like theatre. And for a moment, <laughs> I had my job back, blood red and ready for work. But no, 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 no. It began. The pain, which had begun as infection, beat its way back in again, and each tip seared with infection. I will always hate the Vietnamese, for I was almost dead. But I, I am Enoch Powell, and you, you must be mad, literally mad as a nation if you think I'm gonna go down like that. No, 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 no! I ripped those nails off one by one, which I know you know is torture, but no, no, it worsened. I lacked definition at the end points and the pain, the pain was spreading. Phalanx by phalanx, metacarpal to carpal, and oh, the tendons, the nerves. I had to make the decision to survive before the terror spread further. And so, for love of Enoch, I wrenched off both hands, rammed in the hammers for symmetry, and drenched, passed out, and swallowing vomit, I lived. <laughs> When a man can outlive the removal of his own hands, there can be no excuse for the disabled. I <gasps> Hello. <laughs> I live. <laughs> <laughs> 
I think. Oh, Enoch, my lady, look how handsome you are. A great burden has lifted from my brains. Thank you for your thoughts and letters, nation. I'm touched. And everything, everything is different now. All my helping people, all my crisis control, all that silliness served to distract others and even me from seeing who I was in truth. Just when I thought I was thinking, I was not thinking, no, 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 I knew nothing of myself. But now, finally, I can see. I can see and call things by their true name, and that name is Enoch Powell. Oh, Hamlet, is it you? Are you reformed? Oh, oh Enoch, from now on, there's nothing but you in England. I love you, and I love you, Hamlet. The debt requires it. <laughs> I'm so tired of emancipating Enoch Powell. All I want is togetherness. I want everything to be the way it was, only without the lies, the lies by Hamlet. Everything had lost meaning, and the bodies, the bodies, so many bodies piling up. I couldn't keep still, I wanted to appeal to them all. But now I realize, now I realize that the only man I really need to appeal to is you, Enoch. I love you, and I love you. Hamlet, I never really wanted to emancipate. How could I? You are an institution, which I love. You're it, the thing, my thing. I should have lost everything, but instead I've got it all. I need you, and you need me, Enoch. Yes, Hamlet, you need me, and I need you. Only together can we be the home office in the flesh. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, we complement each other so perfectly. Yes, Hamlet, yes, we do. We complement each other so perfectly. Well done, Hamlet. Same to you, sir. Now, 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 finally, let us make this cursed decision together as England. Absolutely. We, Enoch Powell and his Hamlet, must now undertake the most serious function of the state in purgation. It is not fun, no. It is England's act that we tie the paperless up for years at a time, we haul them out in front of Mrs. and Mr. Enoch Powell, and having destroyed their capacity to answer, we ask them why they deserve to live. And we respect the sanctity of that decision, for it is the meaning of loving our daughters. So, we are ready. The decision is made. And it will be respected. Tenant, you are declined. Out. Oh, I'm so glad to be free of emancipation and back to the straight and narrow. Finally, we can relax. And all because of another successful working day, another useful decision articulated like normal. What a personal victory for Hamlet and Enoch Powell. Oh, Enoch, after a hard day of decision making, let's entertain ourselves with some real culture, some real culture. I love the theatre. Let's do one of them. It shall underline our victory and celebrate our renewed love. Okay, Hamlet, that sounds like a relaxing proposition. Tonight, we shall have the pleasure of a nice and gentle play to reassign the pain. Ready? Yes, sir. And now, a play by Enoch Powell and Hamlet, for Enoch Powell and Hamlet, entitled Die Ophelia Die. <laughs> you be Hamlet and I'll be the girl. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> Enter Ophelia. Ha, <laughs> <laughs>
Oh, unhand me, gentlemen of the Home Office. I'm just Ophelia. I'm fucking pissed, but I'm just Ophelia. There's not enough left to hold down. Excuse me, it's me, Hamlet, landlord. <laughs> I have some info for you. We know about the print. You have to kill yourself. Get out. But we're going to let you choose hell, as why would we do that in the house? <laughs> Think of the liabilities. It's your death, your responsibility, your choice. Go on, do it, Ophelia. Don't be timid. We haven't got long, and I'm bored of you now. I offered such kindness, and in return, nothing but blood. It's a terminal big line. It's a terminal big line. Oh, I'm caught in a terminal decline. Oh, I have reneged on my national rent. Arrears, 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 arrears. I can't pay, I can't stay, I can't pay, I can't stay. I'm caught in a terminal decline and I'm hungry. I must be Ophelia too. I, Ophelia, born imported, my insides slashed by boys with empires to replace, buried alive to increase England's landmass. And yet despite that, despite that increase in other people's mass, despite being constituted only of the theft of myself, I am here and at war. <coughs> That's a strong and romantic base. So I had still hoped recovery was possible. But now, I don't know. Either die for not paying or die paying. That is the meaning of rent. The romantic force of all my lacks combined knows that I, Ophelia, won't stoop to pay. That decision at least is made, but still, the debt has come for me. I'm not sure I have in me the weaponry. It's too close to bones. But, gentlemen, how should I consent to your terms? Did you ask my consent to be asked to consent? No, you did not. You never asked if you could ask. At the end point, you are unenforceable. I, Ophelia, will not pay. Know this home office. Declining and falling is no process of gradual trickling moral incompetence that could be mended with a revamp. Ha! No. You cannot do this. You cannot be this and go on to live. Because I am Ophelia. I am cataclysmic intimate action born of demolition and still alive. And now I'll use what little breath I have left to kill myself, and with me, you. You cast yourselves as me, so when I die, you die. You should have been more careful with your leisure time, boys. 
you can't spend all those working days in executions and expect the culture to stay quiet. It's over for you both, Hamlet and Enoch Powell. It's nearly over, because now, finally, my death speech, your death speech, die, Ophelia, die. In me, Ophelia, there is a wound. That wound is made of the systematic destruction of my organs. You debased me, you sent me here, you kept me in a crowded room and sold us bit by bit while we were held in place with wounding. But if you don't die, you stay open and preparing. And I escaped in a wild moment of rage and brilliance, but the wound stayed open and fundamental, and I turned gradually to air. I went to prison, where you didn't feed you, and I fought starvation with the other women, and we won, but the wounds were gaping more. This was the price. You caught me because my wounds were showing, and you forced me back into the cell and put me to work where you pissed and shit and came on me into the wound, and I know the moment when my twisted insides wrenched themselves to fertility as I saw in your eyes you had created your own ending, and all the woundings married so that now, as I stand here, Ophelia before you, I am all wound, and it is this wound soul raging preoccupation. It is the function of my death. It is the meaning of this old catastrophe that you two men will die. Thanks. <laughs>